Ouch. Welcome and welcome back to Gavin with Gab. Um, this is episode, I think, like, 25. I don't really know. Don't quote me on that. I never say that. Oh, my God, that person's in their car. I didn't. Oh, that person was in their car. That's so creepy. I didn't know that. Okay. And I really can't see them because, like, their windows are tinted. Oh, I don't like that at all. Anyways, back to, back to the intro. Um. So today, I originally had a topic planned for us, but I don't do that. Um, stay tuned for that next week. This is a pretty good one. Um, today I'm talking about literally random shit. Um, some good old memories and stories. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm like at this really random like beach parking lot and like i've never been like i've passed this beach before ten thousand times i've never parked in this because like technically this beach is like closed but like the parking lot's open um and like the water is actually fucking well it's like not even the ocean it's like the fucking bay so it's like actually disgusting like this water is nasty as fuck the fact that some people like actually go in here voluntarily i used to go in here voluntarily is disgusting to me because that's literally shit brown that is so gross but it, there's like this wooden like post bends almost like to like block the water from like coming i don't really know but it's more probably to block the people from going off to this i don't really know what it's for but like it literally looks like the waves are going to come over even though they're not um and there's so many cars in this parking lot but no one in them so i'm like where are the people because they're not on the beach, but they might be at, like, the little park a little far down. Because you have to pay to get in. I'm like, that's so stupid. There's never a person in that thing. I was going to go there. And thank God this thing's open. And when I was on my way here, like, oh my god. Seagulls flying is just so cool to me. Like, they're just, the seagull just not doing anything. Like, not flapping its wings. It was just, like floating in the air it reminds me of that one toy i used to have one i don't know if anyone else had this but it was like a bird and it had like the beak that pointed and you could like hold it on your finger and it would like levitate like quote unquote levitate but really it was just like the gravitation something about it it's like a physics toy but like that shit that's what that reminded me of um also speaking of seagulls so i was driving this was like maybe like a month ago I was driving over a bridge to get to a beach, and there was a suicidal fucking seagull that flew into my car. Like, I was driving with my best friend. We're going over the bridge, and I'm going, like, 50 miles an hour, and this seagull just flies directly into my windshield and just rolls right off. Like, I'm like, I I don't know if this is okay. Like, I couldn't even stop. There's no shoulder, so you can't stop and pull over. Like, you just have to fucking keep going. So I was like... Did I just kill that bird? And she was like, no, worst case scenario, you just paralyzed it. I was like, that was literally not my fault at all. There's nothing I could do. The bird just, from the, like, light post that was on the bridge, just fucking full dived into my car. Dove into my car. Yeah, that's the right word. Dove into my fucking windshield. Um, what was I going to say? I got so sidetracked by these seagulls. Oh, so no, no, no. On my way here... I'm driving and then I see like fucking flashing lights behind me. I'm like, oh, I hate when there's like ambulances behind me. Like any, like, cause I never know where the fuck they're going. And it's like, you're too far ahead to like pull over. And like, you're afraid to like all, like, I'm always afraid that I'm going to be blocking the exact place they need to be. Like, I was afraid they were going to like pull over, like to like have to go to like the house that I'm like going to pull over in front of. So then I just drive until they get close enough to me that I know where to fucking go. I'm like, oh, they're still going, they're still going. Like, and then there was a second one, and, like, the first, like, the ambulance turned down, like, a street that was, like, behind me. No, but I saw them. No, I'm lying. That's not how it went. So the ambulance went around me, because I pulled over, and, like, it went around me. And then I saw it keep going, and then it turned down the street where, like, the ferry is. 
And then, so then, another fucking car with lights, like, I don't know if it was, like, a police officer or whatever it was, did the same thing, but they were behind me. And I'm, like, I'm literally past the street that they turned down. I'm, like, if they, if they're still going and they go past that street, fine, I'll move. But, like, I'm thinking they're going, because there's two ways you could get to the ferry. But, like, I'm, like, I'm thinking they're going to go to the same exact fucking spot as this ambulance. So, I'm just, like, over here waiting. Because, like, you also don't want to look like a fucking idiot, too. And, like say they're all the way down at the other end of the street and you're pulling over waiting for someone that's never coming fucking story of my life (laughs) um but yeah so that was my ride here and then so i i'm like driving to the end of the street and then there's like this little like house shed like right outside the driveway of like there's two parking lots at that park and like one's like for like the park part and then one's like the technically like marina part even though it's just a fucking dock um so then like there's never anyone in that thing there was someone there today i was like fuck off because i'm like i literally am like a town resident but i don't have the stupid card and i'm like i'm not paying eight dollars just to park here to film a fucking podcast episode absolutely not i'm sorry but i'm not spending my eight dollars because also, going on to that, right now, I don't even have $8 to give them. Well, I could do it from my bank account. But that's not when I, like, I like just putting stuff on my credit card. What the fuck are those people doing? They look like they're lost out sea, at sea. There's, like, this boat, and they're just standing on it. Like, and it's, like, it looks like a little fucking dinghy. Like, they're the rest are, like, speedboats zooming through. And they're just going rock and rock and rock, like, ugh. I don't really fuck with boats. This looks like very choppy water. And oh my god, it looks like their fucking boat is about to flip over. And they're like just standing up. Like it's not actually going to flip over. But it's like moving really fast. Like that's wild to me. Anyways. Oh, so my money. Okay, so then I went to fill up. Like I literally went to put $20 of gas on my, in my car at 7-Eleven. I fucking hate 7-Eleven. I forget that I hate 7-Eleven. Because they put such a big-ass hold on cards. Like, and, like, I'm not going inside. Like, I don't even have cash on me. I'm not going to go inside to deal. Like, I don't like the person that works there. He's very weird and creepy and gross. Um, He's not always there, but he's there a lot of the times, and I don't want to risk it. So, sorry, I'm just looking at this boat. Um... What was I saying? Oh, so then my, my, so I used my credit card and they fucking, I just paid off my bill too. And they, it takes forever for the hold to drop off. It takes like three business days for this fucking hold to drop off. And they take, for $20, they hold $175. How much fucking gas is someone getting that you need to hold $175 worth? Like, I get 50 a hundred but don't hold a hundred and seventy five hold on let's do this math real quick that is almost nine times the amount that i fucking spent then you're holding that nine is one less than ten so to me you're holding ten times the amount that's wild to me fucking wild Oh, I forgot that was sparkling. <laughs> I just took a sip of my water. And so I have the one of the Simply Modern cups. And so you can't see what's in it. And it's metal. So it's been water for the past... Like I kept putting water in for the past maybe week. And then I didn't fill up my Brita thing. Because I have like the pitcher. So, I didn't fill that up. So, there's, like, a tiny drop. and Because it's just so annoying to fill up. Like, I'm just... We're not even going to get started with that. But, so, I didn't fill that up. So, there's no water in there. So, I couldn't refill my, like, water... My cup with water. So, I was like, fine. I'll, like, take the bottled water that I have. And that was sparkling water. And it's also a black cherry. So, I was, like, a little bit shocked when I just drank it. So, I was just very startled by it 
taking a drink from my cup. I want to know what the fuck, like, these, like, sm this small boat is doing. Because now they're turned the other way, it looks like. But I'm getting seasick just looking at this crap. I don't, I don't think I've, I've been on, like, one boat in the ocean, and it was a really big fishing boat, so I don't really think I've ever been on, like, a boat boat. Like a sail, these two people are on sailboats. And this other one's just on this really fucking tiny boat that looks like they dropped the oars in the middle of the ocean and they're just trying to figure out a way to get back to sea. I mean, to, to land. I know what terrifies me? Cruises. Those cruise ships are literal cities floating in the ocean. How is that thing not drowning? We're not going to get into another existential crisis, I promise. But I'm just thinking about it right now. Like, you couldn't pay me enough to do an ocean cruise, but a river cruise, I would feel more comfortable doing because you can see the land. And a river isn't that deep. You're not going to get lost in the middle of it, you know? Even if it's a really wide river, the chances of the boat sinking completely like the fucking Titanic are very slim. Also, that fucking Titan thing, the submersible, that was wild. I loved reading the comments of, like... Like, the slideshows of the comments on that. I was peeing myself. Like, I feel so bad for the families, but low-key, like... Maybe you guys should have done something better. That billionaire should have fucking got a better controller for his thing. He's a billionaire, and he can't spend more than 25 bucks on a controller. Bitch, please. You're charging a quarter of a million dollars per person. Well, you were charging. I'm sorry. Um, anyways... The ocean scares the shit out of me. I, I can't... No, I don't do it. I don't do the ocean. I don't... Especially voluntarily... Uh-uh. That looks nauseating. Oh my fucking god. There is... The water is just so choppy. See, like, that one's not that bad. It's a little speedboat. It's not, like, relying on the waves to move. Oh, I have to... I'm such a liar. I've been on, like, ferries... I'm such a fucking liar. I'm such a fucking idiot. But still, that's like a big boat. It doesn't count. Like, I haven't been on like a tiny, tiny boat. Other than like a fucking canoe. That was hell. One time I went canoeing at camp. I have a few camp stories actually we're going to talk about right now. Um, that wasn't where we were going with this episode. We'll circle back to the original topics. That, But right now we're going to talk about summer camp since it's summer. So, um, sorry, I forgot what I was saying again. So it was canoe, canoeing, like, day. It was, like, a canoe day. We would, can, like, we would go on the, like, boat. We would go in the boats. So, like, you could always go paddle bo boating. But you, like, and we would go, like, boating, like, two to three, one to two times a week. And then, I wonder if my brake lights are turning on right now. I hope not, because I'm just, like, resting my foot on my brake. Oh, my God, this is terrible. My attention is, like, terrible today. Um, so, but then once you get to, like, the oldest teen group, you had the option of using the canoe. So, me and my friend, who I would usually hang out with, my friend wasn't there that week. Who I went canoeing with the previous time. So then I just went canoeing with this random girl. And I went in the back of the boat. And I was never in the back of the boat before. I I did like only the front of the boat before. So then I didn't really know like how canoeing worked. That like the back of the boat is steering. The front of the boat is like power or whatever. Like or direction or whatever it is. I don't really fucking... I don't even remember, honestly. I just did fucking canoeing, like, a year ago, too. In gym, but can't remember. Anyways. That was such a loud sound. Anyways. So, then we're canoeing. And we get stuck in the corner of the lake. And it's, like, a small lake, but, like, we're fucking stuck in the corner of the lake. Just struggling to get out of the corner. Because we don't know if we're just waiting to, like get out it was terrible and then like 
we struggled for probably a half hour to get back to land. And the worst part is it was, like, so shallow, low-key, you could just, like, walk, swim. But, like, I was not taking my chances. There's snapping turtles in that lake. Absolutely not. I'm not taking my chances in that lake. And then another story. Ugh. I'm getting, like, the heebie-jeebies just fucking thinking about this. So we would do fishing, like, mm, not too often, but I was, like, scarred from fishing. So... Um, I hate fishing. Fishing is just such a boring concept for me. But it's also just... Sorry. It's also, like, low-key just a terrifying concept to me. Because... I was scarred when I was younger. Um, and if you get squeamish, honestly, I would say skip through this. Because I'm getting squeamish just thinking about it. So... I was perfectly fine with fishing. I looked forward to fishing... For like the first two, three years. Then like one year. I had some idiots in my group. And like they just didn't know. They were like fucking swinging these rods like crazy. And there's a hook attached to that. One point. What happened was my thing. Like my hook got like tangled with the line. And I had to like. And my camp counselor was like terrified of the worms. So she didn't want to she wasn't she was like you do it i'm not doing it like to like unhook it so then um i unhooked it i poked my finger and i was like so dramatic over it too i'm like i need like a tetanus shot like not like i didn't know what a tetanus shot was but like whatever the equivalent to that at like six years old is like i'm gonna die like my finger's gonna like get infected like it was it was a hook with a worm on it like i was freaking out I was like, I need, I need rubbing alcohol. I need what peroxide. I need neosporin. I need band-aids. All of it for like literal tiny poke. I was so dramatic for this. I mean, I'm still very dramatic, but like this was extreme dramaticism for me. And then, so that was already once. So then I knew the feeling of what it felt like to hook yourself. Then, like two years later, a girl in my group was like I don't know what to call it like she was like bringing the hook like the line the thing back like the pole and like she was like about to cast it that's what it's called she was about to cast the the fucking pole what the fuck I'm like blanking out today it's 7 30 p.m so I don't really know what's going I was up pretty early today for Pilates so mm. got scared again by my water so then she goes to cast the pole and she pulls it behind her and she goes too far and hooks her fucking ankle. And like, I was terrified after that. That's disgusting. Like, and then, she, so like the hook went into her ankle and like, so then ever since then I was terrified to go. And then sometimes my camp counselors would make me fucking fish no matter what. So then I would fish all the way at the farthest point of the dock where no one could come near me. And I was like, Whenever someone would come near me, I'd be get I would say get away from me. Like or I would move over. Like I didn't want to be an- near anyone because like I would see people swing in their fucking poles near me. I'm like, I don't want to get hooked because you're an idiot. Cause like th- fishing is so dangerous for little kids. I swear to God. When there's like so many of you on like not that big of a dog. Like it's a pretty big dog, but not too big. So you you're 30 kids, 40 kids crammed into, like, a smaller area. You need at least however far, however fucking long the pole is. That plus, like, so say it's, like, a three-foot pole. That plus, like, another six inches between each other. We weren't getting that. So, I hated that shit. But camp was, like, a core memory. Camp is such a core memory for me. Um, yeah. Okay, so honestly, I was gonna do something different, but I think I'll save that for next week. Um, oh my god, the boat is still going. They're, like, really far out. I don't know if they're, like, purposely doing this or not. Because they're, like, going from, like, the left to the right, back to the left. Like, I don't know if this is, like, they're they're trying to do this or, like, 
they, they're just getting, I really don't know what's going on. It doesn't look like they have an engine, so I really don't know what's going on. But I was going to do something different this week, but my plans changed because I went on an 18 minute long rant about random ass shit. So then this way I could affect my next week's episode. Um, but yeah. So that was a nice little rant about random shit. Um, the water's really just fucking disgusting. I really, ugh, I'm so grossed out by it. Like, Long Island beaches are so overrated. So overrated by the people that live here. People are like, oh my god, there's nothing like the Long Island beach. Yeah, because it's like filled with nasty ass diseases. Like, just the water is like enough to make you want to fucking hurl. Then, especially in the summertime, like... Like, I love driving to the beach. Driving to the beach is honestly one of my favorite activities. But I don't get out at the beach because the people that are at the beach ruin it. Like, it's so overcrowded. Like, there's garbage everywhere. Cigarettes will literally... There's cigarette butts all... Every fucking where. You can't go to the beach without stepping on at least ten cigarette butts. There's broken glass from, like, alcohol bottles. Like, it's so disgusting and dirty. And it's beautiful in, like, the winter and, like, the off-seasons. Like, I love it during the off-seasons. But I'm also just not that big of a fan of sand. So I'm like, ew. Like, I want to be a beach person, but I like I don't like the beach during peak hours. During the day, when every bitch is trying to fucking get their tan. Like, I like to go 6 o'clock sunset when it's not burning hot out and also the worst is hot sand oh my god it's the same as like the hot concrete when you're at a pool it's hell it's like walking on fucking lava especially before like when you're going to like into the pool but it's before you get in the pool for the first time so your feet aren't even like wet to kind of cool off the pavement it's terrible. It's so terrible. It just, it burns, like, the feet. It's horrible. I hate that shit. So, yeah, I'm not really a sand person. Um, I hate when the sand gets on my towel. The worst, I remember this when I was younger. I went to a beach with my cousins. And we got, um, a bunch of food, too. We got fries and a bunch of shit. And nachos from, like, the snack stand. And then... Sorry, I'm yawning. And then, so we got, like, all this food. And it was, like, I came out of the water. So then I'm all sandy. Because you can't wash off. And then your towel's sandy. So, like, you can't, like, really get dry. What the fuck? Are you just turning around? Why are you zooming? Like, they just zoomed right off. They pulled into the spot, then literally zoomed out. I bet you there's more people over there. Like, I really don't know what the fuck you're doing. So fucking weird. People are so fucking weird, I swear to God. Is it because I'm in my car? Like, is that why you, like, zoomed off so angrily? Like, you're thinking no one's gonna be in their car? You're such a fucking loser. Anyways. What was I talking about? Oh, the beach. Yeah, so then, like, it's just, like, the sandal is all over your hand. and Ugh. I just don't like it. Like, I prefer a pool. With a working bathroom that's hygienic. Um, at a house with tons of clean, dry towels. That's my ideal swimming. This person is driving like a fucking maniac, I swear to God. They look like they're gonna fucking drive into the ocean. Like, that's fucking wild. Where's this bitch going now? I'm just, like, observing this so intently. Oh my God, are they going over there with them? Is that what it was? They saw them? No, this person's leaving. Right? 
Oh my god, this is like really weird watching people do this. Oh my god, stop. That made me so nervous that they were going to drive into that building. Watching other people drive makes me so nervous. It's terrible. Like, I just get really nerve-wracked. Ugh, I have to go to work tomorrow. I really don't want to go to work tomorrow, but I have to. Ugh. Oh, they just left. Okay. Um. So, yeah. That... Pretty much I don't really like the beach. That's my moral of the story. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, there's the ferry! Thank you so much for joining me today on Gavin with Gab. Um, so this week was just a little mini talk. Um... Let me know what you guys... Sorry, I'm really, like, just keep yawning. But let me know what you guys want to hear. Um, you know the deal. If you like this, but if you like this episode, like it, five star, whatever you gotta do, just let me know if this was a hit or not. Um... I love you guys. See you next Thursday. I'm sorry. I'm so out of it today. Like, this is why this episode really needs to wrap up today. Um, I'll see you guys next Thursday, 6 o'clock. You know the deal. Love you. Kisses. Mwah.